Hello, I am your host Fruit Snack here with the first ever podcast video that I am doing. Hopefully this goes well. I've had a few equipment around just laying around, so it's not really the best equipment ever. Um so I was thinking of doing two cameras, but uh you know, things happen and I just changed my mind because I'm this is like basically a test episode. So, um, we are actually going to be talking about a lot of things today. Um, so we talked about, and well, I told you technically in my last video about me doing this talking on Saturdays. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't have a guest, which would have been Kiki. She is not here. She is lagging. She is just somewhere on the earth and mission in action i don't know where she's at so it's just me and usually it is going to only be me but hopefully this is entertaining enough hopefully i am very great at this i am superior and all that greatness so um i'm just gonna keep talking and then i might edit it th- i might edit this because i <laughs> don't talk correctly and i already get made fun of by my family so why should i get made fun of by the internet too but um yeah so we're going to be talking about twitter so if you don't know what that is it's a social media platform that helps people tweet many things mainly opinions because everyone wants to tweet their opinions do you like my setup um got a little youtube sticker and the don't touch my laptop right now i uh let's talk about my setup right now honestly before we get into the twitter um my turtle's on the side of me um very good lighting as you can tell um but i didn't know where in this room i can actually station this um and i'm holding the mic for a very good reason is because it's too low and when it's too low for my face you cannot really hear me that well um another thing um i chose this corner because of i well i just wanted my turtle to be in the episode but uh right now he's sleeping or she we really don't really have gender rules so it's he goes by he and sometimes she goes by she so my my turtle doesn't really care because all my turtle cares about is getting fed and surviving 40 years of a life and hopefully i do a very well job of taking care of my little turtle uh, i've been taking care of its shell because it has it looks like some fungus a little bit got into it it's eating away at the shell so i'm treating it and i know my turtle knows we are going to be doing that later <laughs> and he does not like it um besides that uh i have this mic um my dad actually gave it to me because he's into like playing video games online and he was gonna use that for playing video games and talking to people but he didn't like it so i said can i have it and i've had it ever since and i barely realized i still have it i also have another mic um that i bought specifically for interviews like going and walking around and stuff. Um, that one's a good mic too, but I didn't want to use it because there's not enough room on this little tiny table that I have. This table is a camping table. You can get it at your local store that is a supermarket if they sell camping things. I'm not going to name any stores, but um, I got this from this store for I don't even know how much because I didn't pay for it because there's something going on with the cards and then i ended up they didn't scan this one for some reason so i got it for free which was a lucky pool but behind me i'm sitting on this really nice um i don't want to yank the wire um what is this this is a chair and it's foldable so it's like basically not that big um i have the little cover over there i don't want to go up and get it because i already sat down it's basically for backpacking mainly i mean you can use it for camping too it's just a little chair that you put together and it's very it's very useful um i use this to go watch people play soccer i uh 
I'm using it to sit down right now. <laughs> I have not used it that much. But I'm also taking a backpacking class this semester, so I'm going to be using it. So it's not going to go to waste. It was like 30 bucks. And I told my cousin, is this worth the purchase? And he said, yes, it is. Buy it. Um, and another reason why I'm using this mic is because... <laughs> Ah, uh, the other one, I was listening to myself while I was talking into it, and this one I don't listen to myself, but the other one I was, and <laughs> I um, <laughs> I started making the <laughs> noise, and I, and I was listening to it, and I hate ASMR, and I was just like, it sounds so crisp and clear, I hate it, but um, that's uh, another reason I'm not using it, uh, and I also have uh, my water bottle, Right here it's um, a specific brand I have two of them this one's a bit bigger I use this one mainly for work because it's big enough to hold water and it actually keeps really really cold which is really really cool this one is actually kind of a brand um, it's a it's some headphones that I bought for Xbox that I do not get to use because I have nobody to play with nobody wants to play with me games so I don't really play my Xbox and my Minecraft game on my Xbox doesn't work for some reason so I play it on my phone <laughs> that's a that's let's play Minecraft I mean it'll be fun uh, I got this sticker don't touch my laptop from Lily and I thought it was pretty cool because I do want to add stickers to my laptop too. And if you look at my um, my hide, my other water bottle, ha 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 ha, almost said it, but you probably already know what we're talking about. Uh, if you look at my other water bottle, I have <laughs> a lot of stickers, <laughs> a lot more than this one. This one I only have a one of the YouTube and then another one, and then the one that came with. Um, but yeah, so let's get into Twitter. Um, you might hear some noises in the background, and if you don't, wow, great, amazing, I love this mic. <laughs> I was testing it earlier, and, um, it was working really well, actually. Uh, so, basically, we're going to be talking about, um, Twitter. Tweets that I sent myself, because nobody else DMs me. No, just tweets that I sent myself that I was like, huh, I would like to talk about that, because I have opinions, too, and I know they don't matter, but you're going to listen to them anyways, since you still didn't. Um, so we have, I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to show you on the side of the screen. You know what? Let's make myself work harder in editing. So we're going to show you on the side of the screen. And if I don't, then forgive me for being lazy. I guess you can say, you know, I'm busy. All right. So there's this tweet. Uh, so this, this tweet's uh, the biggest turn on during a relationship. Hands, hand kisses, lip biting card conversations, random paragraphs, late night FaceTime calls, thigh grabbing, acting goofy, parent loving them. So that's the biggest turn on during a relationship. Well, I must be doing a relationship completely wrong. My turtle's like going back to sleep. <laughs> I look <laughs> I I wanted to set up more cameras, but I was just like, it's just me, my turtle. My turtle right now wants its privacy, so I gotta respect that, you know. But this this is a interesting kind of way of saying this is a turn on during a relationship. So do you always have um lip biting? I don't understand that at all. Let's continue. <laughs> Talk about it. Okay, so this one uh, is... Okay, we're going to get into the politics and stuff because, you know, what's happening. Might as well talk about it. Do we have to be a serious topic about it? No, we can joke around with it, um, enjoy life with it. But we do need to acknowledge it and do something about it in a way. But I am one person and I can make a difference and so can you. So if we find a way together how to stop things like this, this would be great. I think get rid of all the old people in the government and put in the new fresh ones because old people hate like little kids and, and young people so why are they in charge of us you know it's just it just doesn't make sense to me but you know what you don't gotta agree with me we're just here to have a conversation and talk to each other even though i'm talking to a camera and talking to myself you know i talk to myself all the time when i'm laying in bed so this is not that different anyways 
God damn, I'm sorry. I know I'm not a great rapper, okay? Anyways, so this boy got caught, got the cops called on him for selling beer, but it turned out to be a clever scheme to get customers. A young man selling water in Las Vegas was put in a chokehold by police for selling water without a license. You hear the men tell police, I can't breathe, as they continue. So, the thing is, what got me really upset about this is not just because of the skin color, but by the child handling alcohol. See, I thought you were supposed to be 21 years old in order to even look at alcohol, you know, uh, but this kid was carrying it, holding it, handing it to them, because that's how business actions work. Um, I don't know if that's true, if you actually hold it or had them get it, but I'm pretty sure, uh, Young kids selling cold beer should be arrested. Or at least taken to jail. Say, hey, don't do that. You're not 21. I had to wait for this age to buy legal or to buy alcohol. You don't see me drinking it in front of you. Because I don't drink. Uh, Anyways. <laughs> The other one is selling water. Selling water is a really good thing to do. I remember I started when I was little. I was selling lemonade. Me and my cousins and aunt were selling lemonade to. I'm talking. He's yeah. Uh, selling lemonade to our my grandpa's workers, and then we started experimenting and doing some weird things. But we were selling them for like a higher price. Like we we're trying to make the money, and we try to sell. <laughs> um some old books that we had and my dad caught us and he got us in trouble because we were at the end of the street trying to do it but um we were just hustling man we were just trying to work and make money because we needed to eat and live even though we were little and we were provided for but yeah so i think this is very ridiculous um a young man selling water gets put in a chokehold i believe these two policemen that were doing it to this man felt the this was a great opportunity to, you know, see the wink link and take advantage of it and try to show their masculinity in some sort of way. Maybe. I'm just guessing. Um, but yeah, so that tweet said talk about it. So I'm talking about it. I got you. I'm probably not going to block their usernames. I think about it. That's so much editing. You know, I got I got school all week. And, and this video goes up on Saturday. I got some Wednesday's videos. But you know what? Today's Friday. And I, I was waiting for someone to come sit right here and talk with me. But they bailed. I shouldn't. I should have saw it coming. It's fine. But um, the show must go on. Um. So yeah. <laughs> there's that. Uh. There's another one. Uh, it's crazy that white terrorists can use mental illness as a reason to murder innocent strangers, but as a black person in America, uh, having to see videos like this daily is somehow wild to have PTSD and feel uncomfortable with police. All I asked, all we do is ask question and get attacked. I know. Okay, there's this video and... Uh, it says a black man was pulled over by a Texas cop without giving a reason. The cop then tries to arrest him after he asked multiple times. Cop tells him he is being arrested for speeding and will not comply without with being handcuffed and arrested for speeding awaits for back. So this video, um, I'm not gonna, um, you can see it, it's plain. Um, so I saw this video and the way the other policeman comes in, um, is very, very interesting. Uh, there's a gun. I forgot. He points a gun. So the, this man is asking questions and I remember in high school I would ask questions and I would get in trouble for some reason, even though I was always told ask questions to be smarter. Um, but I would, I was, I was questioned and I think the reason why I would get in trouble is because the teachers, I would say, would feel like their authority is being questioned. And nobody likes when their authority is being questioned because then that gives them, that, that makes them feel like they don't have any power over you. 
in a sense i feel and i feel like when this man is asking questions why am i getting arrested for speeding blah blah blah, blah um i feel like the officer that's pointing a gun at him saying that you're arrested just let me put the handcuffs and he's like why and he wants to know why and i want i would oh i hit the mic i would also want to know why but uh if a gun's being pointed at me i would just be like fine shoot me just tell me why like i'm i'm a very curious person too you know curiosity killed the cat <laughs> i don't know what it, i wish i can oh well um oh and the way this other officer comes in just beating down him is just it's so ridiculous like if i was this officer i would come in and say hey what is going on why are you resisting arrest and then just tell them why you're you're arresting them like yeah arresting you for speeding but why why you know the the why question is like the the way to get in trouble i feel um but yeah i don't like how the other officer came in and just tackled him because compared to the other officer the other officer looks like he's like new and this is his first time and the other one comes in like you know what i'm tired of this he like he had a bad day but still like it's it's like it's like so strange to me how people can do that um but let's just move on i'm not sure if my point's getting across or anything but it's just i guess um because what i was told in high school was to just just don't ask any questions just um basically listen and do what you're told and the thing is that's what i've done my whole life with my parents and i didn't like it because i wasn't happy and i wanted to know why i had to do things why i had to come home at eight o'clock but yet my brother can come home at 10 o'clock so i fought for it and you know i don't think i got beat (laughs) but uh i did finally get to extend my out outings with friends but um I don't know. I just think it's a, it's a power thing of why people get upset when you ask them questions. And it's not like if you ask them, oh, how do you do this? They're like, oh, I am more like, I'm smarter than you. Let me teach you. Not that kind of way. Um, it's like when you ask, like, why do I have to go and do this? Or why do I have to wait till you tell me to pack my things? And like, it's just, it's just like, it's confusing. And like, there's a lot of reasons for a lot of things and uh it's just it's just so odd how that officer just comes and just tackles him like like saying like i'm the man i'm strong and i can take you down or something i don't know let's just move on (laughs) i feel like i'm just rambling um so this is about the shooter the shooter the shooting um and this is the picture of the shooter uh and basically he's 19 years old and this picture is for uh his the year his senior yearbook uh, is from his senior yearbook there you go uh and someone calls it terrorist and honestly i wanted to talk about that a lot um the thing about like terrorists and how they said that he's a terrorist and honestly if you're shooting your own citizens or not well technically if you're shooting other americans killing other americans um that is hurting our society because you killed people who are working who have jobs people who are learning in our education um then you are a terrorist because you're basically against america and yeah okay you're for the one shooting um at El Paso, yeah, you're like Trump, yeah, America. I mean, I'm I'm cleansing the invaders or whatever. Technically, you are actually killing people who look like they would be so-called invaders, and you are actually killing Americans. Uh, land of the free. Like, what happened to that one song where like? this land is your land 
This land is my land, from California to the New York Island. And then it's basically, it says, uh, like, this land was made for you and me. Like, what happened to that? I, I remember singing that, like, in kindergarten. They made us sing it to everybody, and I was like, oh, yeah. I probably wasn't. I was probably scared, like, like like really scared but um yeah i remember singing that and it's like embedded in my brain and it's like like this land's for you and me why are you killing people that look like me is it because you are racist is it because you are jealous that they have a better job than you and you're just lazy to get a job um i want to give this quick story about jobs (laughs) I was working um, up at Mountain Shasta, uh, and I was doing. I was cleaning up the campground, getting garbage and stuff. I was just getting the garbage. Uh, a lady, um, light skinned she comes up to me and says, uh, "Can I have your job?" And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Oh, can I have your job? It doesn't look that hard." And I was like, uh, "Go ahead, take it." <laughs> and then she laughs, and I was like, "Okay, she's just joking. She's not saying that. Oh, I'm still in her job." um but she was like oh it, yeah you guys just come around and it looks it doesn't look that hard i was like yeah today's an easy day <laughs> so far um trash gets really heavy people are really disgusting they like to uh make the trash really really hard to get out as in stuffing it and then the bags rip on us and a lot of crazy stuff happens with the trash and that's only the trash and then you go to the restrooms it's really worse there's poop everywhere you gotta clean it up and then she's like oh okay and then we were just talking for a little bit and um she was she was a really nice person but uh i thought it was it was so odd how she just came up saying can i have your job i was like yeah go, go apply for it they're gonna need somebody as it when i go back to school but uh, i was just like hmm oh i sound like a villager hmm huh <laughs> i don't know why just sitting on the rock the whole time are you engaging i take that as a yes but yeah so i thought that was interesting um but the, again with the guns um honestly nobody needs a ak-47 no one needs something that's automatic um honestly um the thing is i first for the first time saw someone in a campground with a gun It was a little pistol, but it was, like, on the side, like, a police officer. And I was just, like, can you just move your car so I can, like, go through? Because, like, I need to get through. Um, But, yeah, uh, that was really odd. He waved me. I waved back. But I was just, like, I'm scared for my safety. And he waved to me, so I think he's pretty nice. But what if he's faking it? What if he's, like pretending to be nice and then just wants to shoot me because like he hates me or something um because i am driving a government vehicle so what if he like hates i don't know i was just scared (laughs) but then after i was like okay i'm fine i'm alive i am breathing or am i in the simulation and thinking that i'm alive and breathing but i'm actually a robot i don't know um so we're at 25 minutes damn i was talking for 25 minutes and i'm not even halfway done but uh let's go let's move on from tweets and stuff or oh, let's do one more let's do one more good one uh let's see let's find a good one that i've sent to myself <laughs> this is a video of minecraft i don't want to put the music but basically <laughs> Party below. I wish I was in the party. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Um, so let's see if there's anything else that I would want to talk about. So, oh yeah, okay, this is the last one. The last one. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, if you can hear. Like heat or whatever. It's my laptop. I'm charging it right now. Maybe that's one of But um. So this tweet says. Uh, Being kissed while you're asleep is one of the most purest forms of love. How would you know? How do you know you're being kissed when you're asleep? Because you're asleep. Hmm? I thought that was weird. 
I mean, let's let's do this one real quick. Uh, it's Kiki uh, tweeted, "How does someone even blame a mass shooting on a video game? Like y'all don't see me shooting up any anything, and I've played multiple violent games. It's just these racist people acting out on their prejudice." Now I agree, video games aren't the cause. Like people play the video games to release anger of course yeah like join my clan and stuff like like i'm sniper like no scope <laughs> but uh nobody nobody that i know um that plays violent video games my brother plays the most violent video games and he just leaves it all in the game legit like i i played grand theft auto i killed a lot of people on the street in Grand Theft Auto, and I leave it all in the game. In Minecraft, I kill some villagers <laughs> when they don't want to want to trade me some good stuff. No, just kidding. I don't kill the villagers, uh, but I kill the creeper because the creepers are are gonna explode, and that's a terrorist. <laughs> Cause like bomb threat stuff. Um, let's move on my camera actually just i don't know if it's gonna be a good transition or anything because my camera just actually turned off because it was overheating and my laptop is still going strong but um yeah so uh oh, it's okay sorry this video she gets hit by the car while she's fighting and the person that was fighting her like make sure she's like she reaches out like if she's okay and I think that's amazing. <laughs> like, even though you have problems, like, you're still there for each other. Um, that's basically the videos for, um, I mean, the videos. That's basically the, I hopefully I'm not like, <sighs> into the mic. That's basically all the tweets I'm going to be doing. Um, I did go on my social medias on Instagram and Twitter. Um, if you use those platforms and i asked people to ask me so i asked people to ask me questions on it let's see what they asked me this time besides telling me to tell kiki kiki when i see you i'm gonna tell you this but also i don't see you so in this video just no stop asking people to be a sugar daddy okay enough is enough Go out and get the job. Get a job that I'm stealing from you. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> and then you will stop asking. You will stop needing money. Because you'll be working for your money. And then you'll be like, I don't want to go to work, but I need money. Like every other person that works. So let's see. <sighs> what the? What the sign in again? everything is just not going my way today so earlier while i'm trying to do this earlier in the dmv i was going in to get my um uh to get, update my driver's license because i was like dude i need to do this um but uh it's because i have a new address and plus i'm 21 so then they give me that cool one on the side you know oh man um and then um my card because i haven't been using my debit card i've been using mainly my credit card and and it asked me for my pin code and i was like oh shoot i forgot it and i was like okay i know it's these numbers and i was wrong and that was basically the one for my watch so what ended up happening was uh my card was getting declined so i had to call my bank and um to see if i can do it again and they said okay try it now and then i looked and i remembered it i was like okay so it's this numbers so i put the numbers and um the thing is uh it worked so i was like wow i had to step out call them and then um yeah so okay so one of them loaded so twitter loaded um do you have any comfort items? I honestly don't think I have any comfort items. Do I? I don't really think I do. 
I think um, I would I would say my uh, pillow pet that is a monkey would be one maybe when I go to sleep because I I do enjoy the the cuddling. Uh, but I do like hot chocolate. It really relaxes me too. Um, but I don't really. I'm not really sure what I would actually classify as a comfort. Things that bring me comfort. Um, I think it would have to be anything that I own because um, each thing can give me a certain amount of comfort. Just to feel like I am not like. I don't know. I honestly don't know how to answer that question. I think I answered it pretty well, but um, my camera keeps uh. Uh, turning it off because it's like overheating or something and i need to charge it because it's also dying so i didn't think i was going to speak for this long um i still have a lot to talk about but you know what we can continue a conversation in the next episode so that will be next saturday so i'm going to end this episode i think this was a pretty good episode to start with um it's all it's probably going to be all over the place uh, it's probably all over the place because it's just the first time you know i'm testing the water is a little a little a little new thing you know it's like when you put when you get ice cream and you find out there's sprinkles and you're like ooh, i want to try that or anything else um so yeah usually i'd ask i I was gonna do what i was usually gonna what i was actually going i'm not speaking correctly what i was actually gonna do was i was gonna speak um I was going to talk about more things and talk about, like, answer more questions. But uh, if you have a question, leave it in the comments and I'll answer it in the next video. Or DM me on Twitter, Instagram, even Snapchat if you have me on any of those platforms. Um, or if you have my number. I mean, any way possible, <laughs> get an, uh, email me. <laughs> get, get me, get away, get to me in a way to answer those questions. I say I'm not speaking very well right now. <laughs> i'm just trying to finish this um but thank you for listening maybe we'll come back for more um and if you do i'll be here talking about something new or the same thing or continue uh but until then have a good life and enjoy everything you get in this life um so yeah hopefully the next one will be amazing and you enjoy my voice is it soothing are you falling asleep? Sometimes I fall asleep when I listen to podcasts. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm just rambling on and on. So I'll see you next time if you decide to come back. So until then, peace out. Stay weird. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still used, new to this.